Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. James chapter 1, verse 19. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. James was well aware that the normal inclination of human beings is to speak too much and to listen too little. It's worth reflecting for a moment on why this is the case. The truth is that listening is really hard work. It's certainly much more demanding than speaking. When we give our full attention to another person, it requires a great deal of concentration. And if we do it for long, it can be exhausting. But when we listen to someone else, we're showing our care and love for them in a profound way. Jesus certainly wasn't asking his readers to be mute. It is good and healthy for us to speak. But we would do well to make sure that we're disciplined in the way in which we speak and ensure we're constantly improving our listening skills. In recent years, there's been a mushrooming of listening courses. They perhaps don't teach anything that is brand new to any of us, but they do encourage us to reflect carefully on the process of listening and can help us become increasingly attentive to others. I'm sure all of us could benefit from going on such a course. James also commands his readers to be slow to get angry. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 29 says, People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. There are, of course, things which make all of us angry. The question is, what do we do with our anger? If we fail to control it, it can cause a great deal of destruction. John Scholasticus, a monk who lived on Mount Sinai in the 7th century, said this, As long as anger lives, she continues to be the fruitful mother of many unhappy children. It's vital that we seek God's strength to control our listening, speaking and anger so that we'll only ever be building his kingdom and not destroying it. Let me pray with you. Lord God, help us to become better at listening so that we will share more of our love with others. Amen. Thanks so much for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available on podcasts, which you can, of course, access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.